What if I told you that investing in Tesla shares right now would be the same as doing so for Bitcoin in 2023? I realize it sounds crazy, but please bear with me. Tesla is currently the most inventive and progressive firm in the entire globe. They are setting the pace of autonomous driving, renewable energy storage, and electric automobiles. In other words, some of the most significant technical revolutions of our time are being led by Tesla. Yet still, the value of their stock is quite modest. When compared to what it will eventually be valued at, it's a huge bargain. By 2025, experts predict that Tesla's EV share of the market will be less than 20%. Wood, though, continues to believe in God. Even though Tesla, Bitcoin, and cryptocurrency exchange Coinbase all suffers losses this year. The CEO of ARK Invest is still confident in the long-term worth of these assets and is continuing to make investment in them, despite the fact that many investors are leaving the sector. Hey guys, welcome to Investor Facts, where you may learn about investing and how to make the best financial decisions for your life. Make sure to click the subscription button and enable the notification bell if you haven't already. Share like and comment. Without a doubt, the macroeconomic situation around the world is extremely unpredictable right now. Tesla stock has lost almost a third of its value over the past three months. They have decreased by more than 40% year to date. Many investors may be pondering whether this is a great time to acquire the stock of the electric car manufacturer in light of the stock's decline. Moreover, despite the falling share price, the core firm is rapidly expanding. According to Tesla's most recent financial statistics, third quarter revenue climbed by 56% year over year, and the company's free cash flow grew by 148% to roughly $3 billion. Additionally, the firm cash balance increased to $21.1 billion. Tesla's booming vehicle deliveries, which raised overall third-quarter deliveries by 42% year-over-year to 343,830, were a major contributor to the successful quarter. In October, Tesla announced its third-quarter earnings, exceeding expectations by 10% to $5 per share. After an improvement in the company's bottom line, the stock fell with sales falling 4% below and expectations and revenues of $21.45 billion. Top-line growth was unimpressive. Although, there were a record-breaking 343,830 deliveries throughout the quarter, this again fell somewhat short of forecast. Tesla stock is still up 721% over the past three years, beating the benchmark and its peer group by 7%. Tesla stock is currently down nearly 46% year-to-date, trailing the S&P 500's minus 22%. Tesla anticipates a full-year production increase of 50% over 2021. In the company's third-quarter result call, Tesla Chief Financial Officer Zachary Kirkhorn stated that an increase in deliveries is anticipated to be just around 50%. Tesla's profits are now anticipated to increase 79% year-over-year to $4.5. Earnings for the fiscal year 2023 are projected to increase by another 30% to $5.29 per share. Sales are predicted to increase by 54% this year and by additional 39% in fiscal year 2023, reaching $115.38 billion, indicating that top-line growth will also occur. The pre-pandemic sales of $24.57 billion in 2019 are more than quadrupled by this. While Tesla is notorious for its own tremendous volatility, so too are the other equities. Also in 2021, when Tesla stock was on the decline, a smart investor advised, whenever you have the opportunity to purchase it, do so. Star investor Kathy Wood has been on a buying frenzy since October, as can be noticed since Tesla stock fell at the time. In reality, Wood has purchased Tesla's shares several times during the dip in October, then again in November, and most recently in mid-December. Particularly in the near future, 
Tesla will remain the industry leader. When you think of Tesla, you consider innovation. Michael Vapis, Managing Director of Vios Advisors at Rockefeller Capital Management, said that on Trading Nation. Particularly, Goldman Sachs tried to deal Tesla another blow a few days ago when the bank reduced its price target and reduced expectations for Tesla deliveries and gross margins for the fourth quarter in light of the possibility of lessening supply. Even so, Goldman kept its buy recommendation and it's optimistic in the long run. Like Goldman, Cathie Wood's investment management company, ARK Invest, is optimistic about the company's long-term production possibilities. Wood cited the thinning of supply chain as putting Tesla in the lead of being able to reduce costs and pricing to help bring back electric cars to the consumer market. Although Tesla may appear to be most investor to be a costly stock in terms of valuation, the business has consistently produced enormous profitability and revenue growth. Estimates of the company's yearly earnings also demonstrate that its rapid expansion is still very much alive. Experts agree that Tesla's future is promising. Purchasing a Tesla now can make sense for investors who are looking several years or even decades into the future. Then again, according to the majority of analysts, Tesla's stock is better suited for long-term investors than it is for short-term ones. Nonetheless, long-term positive investors place their hopes in fully autonomous vehicles. Despite the fact that dozens of companies are actively working in the direction in some capacity, it's challenging to catch up to Tesla's lead. Tesla has improved its use of cameras, radar, and GPS over the years to the point where its vehicles are essentially self-driving. Moreover, Tesla has invested billions in the construction of its two new factories in Texas and Germany as well as renovation of its Shanghai factory. The goal of this action is to increase the business's overall production. At full production capacity, the Chinese factory can now churn 1.1 million vehicles annually. It came very close to that run rate in September, setting a new monthly record of 83,135 units. The business has also determined that there is a greater demand than there is a capacity for its energy division solar rooftop and battery storage. In the third quarter, sales from that division accounted for 5% of overall revenue. Despite all the challenges with its supply chain and logistics, Tesla is, unquestionably, doing well. Due to delivery delays, the corporation built 22,000 more automobiles in the third quarter than it could deliver. In the fourth quarter, customers will receive their autos. The problem might prevent deliveries from meeting the company's target of 50% annual growth in 2022. But it still anticipates that production will increase at that rate. According to experts, investors should not really rely on any stock to ensure a specific return over the course of just one or two years. There are many things, including the hazards in the current supply chain. Elon Musk has a reputation for being contentious figurehead, but he has also made bold forecasts. Deliveries of the Tesla semi-truck, which were delayed for nearly five years, will start next month. Considering this, it seems like Tesla is doing well, especially when compared to the rest of the auto industry. U.S. auto sales will decline by approximately 9% this year, predicts a report by Cox Automotive and the auto dealer operations and marketing software company. The majority of experts predict that global trends will be just as bad, if not worse. Tesla's impressive financial results in a difficult climate underscore the automaker's momentum and a strong desire for completely electric vehicles. Given that, this would be a good moment to buy the stock while it is still on the decline. Although investors may initially find Tesla's current price-to-earning ratio to be expensive, the value gradually become more appealing when they take into account the company's positive trend and management's upbeat outlook. Tesla stock has experienced significant selling pressure, dropping roughly 50% of its value throughout the year. While growth stocks generally has been impacted by rampant inflation and interest rates increases. Despite being down 50% this year, is Tesla stock still a buy? 
since Musk bought the social media firm in his private capacity. He has been selling Tesla stock to pay for it and free up cash to manage the loss-making, heavily indebted social media company. The stock now has overhang as a result of this. The Twitter acquisition may be also perceived as Mr. Musk's unwelcome distraction from his duties at Tesla, causing him to take time off. Consequently, if you've been considering buying a Tesla stock, now is the time. You'll be participating in something that will genuinely change society. I sincerely hope that watching this video has helped in your decision to buy Tesla. Thanks for watching the entire clip. If you like it, kinda let us know by hitting the like and subscribe buttons. Also, don't forget to enable the notification bell so you can be the first to know when we post a new video. In the following video, I'll see you. Goodbye.